Did you hatch out some baby quail and you're wondering when can you move them out of the brooder box and into the grow out pen? Well that's the topic of today's video so we're going to get that answered for you in just a few seconds. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. In today's video, we're going to be talking about moving baby quail from the brooder box to the grow out pen. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you know that I have about two and a half week old baby quail. You saw them on the live broadcast a couple of weeks ago when they first started hatching and they were still in the incubator. You saw them in the grow out pen last week when they were just a week, or excuse me, in the brooder box last week when they were a week old. Now I've moved them out to the grow out pen. And I've gotten a lot of questions recently about when can you do that? When can you move them from the brooder box to the grow out pen? Well, it kind of depends on a few things, as with most answers. First of all, it depends on what is your temperature outside. So right now it's summertime. Our temperature, our low temperatures at night, don't get down below about 66 degrees, somewhere right around in there. Uh, so I find that it's fine to move my baby quail out to the brooder, or out to the grow out pen, out of the brooder, off the heat, at about two weeks old when they fully feather out. And they usually fully feather out about at a week and a half old. What I do is I move the heat off of them at a week and a half, and then uh, I let them go for about four or five days till they get about two weeks old with no heat on them whatsoever. And then they just go right out to the grow out pen, and they're fine. They do just fine. I actually lost one bird out of this um, uh, group of birds whenever I moved them out to the grow out pen, but it was a runt, and it was really kind of struggling in the, in the brooder box with the, all the other quail anyway. So I don't think it was really a temperature-related issue with that bird. Okay, now wintertime is a little bit different. It gets a lot colder in the wintertime and I do take a little bit more time to uh, acclimate the birds to that temperature change. So I still kind of use the same basic principle. I keep the heat on them until they're fully feathered out. Try to keep it about 100 degrees in that brooder box. Just, just watch your birds actually. Put your heat lamp on them. If they're all crowded under the heat lamp, move it a little closer to raise the temperature. If they're all crowded on the other side of the brooder box away from the heat lamp, move it a little bit further away to decrease the temperature. If they're all spread out all over the place, you're perfect. So leave the heat on them till they're fully feathered out, about a week and a half old, somewhere right around in there. When they're fully feathered out, start backing that heat light away and give them just a little bit less heat and you can do that about every day. Now you read some sources that say uh, move it, you know, uh, five degree decrease every couple of days, something like, I don't watch it that close honestly. I just move it a little bit further away, um, let, it, let it drop in temperature just a little bit. They'll kind of all be crowded under the heat light for, for a day and then they start spreading out and they're just fine. When they start spreading out, I move it a little bit further away and that gets them acclimated. I do that until they're about two weeks old. Then I pretty much take the heat lamp off, but I keep them sheltered in the garage where it stays, you know, a little bit warmer. It stays up about 60, 65 degrees even in the wintertime in there. And I give them that for another week. So by about, uh, about three weeks old, sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. By about three weeks old though, um, if I've been doing that, and I'm um, kind of weaning them off the heat since they were about a week and a half old. Had them off the heat completely um, from the time they were about two weeks old to the time they're about three weeks old. Right about then, they're usually good to go out to the grow out pen, even if it is uh, really cold outside, even if the temperature is freezing. Now, if you've got like a huge ice storm and you're like 20 degrees below, you know, live way up north somewhere, uh, that's probably, you're going to have to keep them a little bit longer. I'd keep them four or five weeks until they get a little bit more bulk on them before you move them out. Uh, but here here in southwest Missouri, our temperatures in the wintertime, they get down to about freezing and that's about it. Sometimes a little bit lower than that, uh, but generally in the winter we're looking at you know lows in the mid-30s, somewhere right around in there. And as long as that's the case, by about three weeks old, they're usually good to go right out to the uh, grow out pen. All right, for those of you guys that have been following my channel for a little while and you've seen, you remember when the babies hatched two weeks ago, you remember seeing them last week's live broadcast when they were still in the brooder box, or last week's video, I should say, because we lost connection during the live broadcast, um, and you, you said you wanted to see the quail continuing to grow out, let's take a look at them here real quick. These guys are two and a half weeks old right now. They moved out to the brooder, or to the uh, grow out pen uh, two days ago. They've been out in this grow out pen for about two days. Let me bring you in close. We'll give you a look at uh, what they look like now. All right, so this is a uh, grow out pin that a buddy of mine just gave me, saved me from having to build one. Um, I ended up having to put a board up in front here because it was just open and they would just come spilling out as soon as I opened the door. It was a problem. But uh, here they are. You can see uh, 
you know, they're acclimating to the grout pin really well. You can see the guy right there. There's a closed off section on this side right here. They get over that two by four, go in there every once in a while, come back in here. Um, they're doing great. I lost one bird out of this whole entire, um, what do you call this, a litter of birds, I guess. Uh, this whole entire hatch, I lost one bird after I moved them out to the uh, grow up, and the rest of them have done just fine. I think there's actually still one or two inside here. I'm not going to bother opening that up right now, but you can see I've got several silvers. Um, I've got some, uh, looks like going to be some tuxedos. Most of these guys look like uh, the jumbo pharaohs, but they're growing out fantastic. Put my hand in here so you can get some... Uh, some reference to uh, size. I mean, they're still, let me grab one of them real quick. They're still pretty tiny little birds, but they're growing out pretty well. Some of them uh, bigger than others and uh, looking good. You can hear them calling a little bit there, starting to chirp. This is, uh, this is kind of cool. I use the same feeders I use for my, uh, my adult quail and they just crawl right inside the feeder. I always think it's kind of funny to see them. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. Let me move this board here. We'll get down here on their level. You can see them right inside the feeder. They just crawl inside of it and kind of dust bath in it and eat it. Uh, some of them, that guy right there is just laying down in there almost asleep. So anyway, these feeders work just fine. Um, I don't usually use uh, this kind of a waterer in my, uh, in my grow out pens. I, I switch them over to the water cups by this point, but um, I don't have one put in here yet. And like I said, this was a, a grow out pen that a buddy of mine gave me, so I need to get that done. I'll get it probably added in the next couple of days, let's hope, um, because this, uh, this water right here is a big pain in the butt. All right, so you can see two week old quail, at least in the summertime when the uh, nighttime lows don't get down below about 65 degrees do just fine at two weeks old moving out into the grow out pen. Leave me a comment below. Let me know, are you doing something different? Uh, do you have a different schedule that you're following when it comes to moving your babies out of the brooder box and into the grow out pens? If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, stay updated with my content. Leave me a comment below and let me know if there's something that you'd like to see addressed in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, God bless.